Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where it's all kicking off for poor Rusty. Uh, we're going to go and um, check in on him over in that visitor centre. Well, I'm not totally thrilled by the prospect, but we'll, uh, we'll check it out. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Get rid of those. Maybe we should. Maybe they maybe they turn to enemies or something if you don't deal with them? Uh, hello, who are you? This stuff as well. Load the gun again. Okay, um, I'm sure Rusty's fine. I don't actually think he's there anymore. And something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Ay, ay, ay. Oh! Don't feed the animals. Okay, I won't. <laughs> I guess we're going this way, huh? Fishing! Is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. Oh, I think. Uh, no I was going to say, I think something might have happened to Rusty. Rusty, no! Never! Two bears and wolves never approach. Get my, I haven't got my shotgun. Gotcha. Sorry, Rusty. Oh, there's more of those guys. Okay, let's um. Presumably, grab some more here as well. Okay. Oh, sorry for Rusty. I did try to save him. Not very well, you could say, but still. The intent was there. <laughs> if not the... Um, if not actually in reality. Oh crap, you see that tree collapsing down. Lover's Peak. Guess we're still doing that. So that there's something up there. I don't think I, I, don't think I can shoot it. I don't think I'd want to. It's just a light, isn't it? That's Barry. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. We don't know if we want to go down here. Can I mantle up that? No! Oh god, I think he nearly bounced off that and fell down. Okay, let's go back to the path. Don't feel like I'm really supposed to be here. Get there. I haven't come very far. I mean, I'm kind of looking for pages as well. I'm sure there's going to be some... Ooh. I need the ammo. So, like... I presume I need. I presume that's the way to go, right? 
the light. Might be something down here. Or is this the way to go? No, this is the way to go. It says Lover's Peak over there. So... See any pages down there? I mean, I might just come back up here and check the other path then. There might be something. In fact, I think I see a page on that uh, picnic bench. Let's have a look at that. So, we have... Oh, Rusty's final thoughts. Okay. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. So he was perving over the teenage waitress. I feel a bit less bad for Rusty now. Okay, well I'm probably going to have to cross all that stuff, right? I would imagine. I'm glad I came back anyway. I kind of thought that was the main way to go, but it doesn't seem like it was. Ooh. Break an ankle, Alan. For your safety, stay on designated trail. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Moonshine Cave, huh? Well, this arrow is pointing this way, which generally means, like, bonuses of some kind, or collectibles, or what have you. I did look up the thermoses, by the way, in between this episode and the last one. They're just a, they're just a game collectible. I think it said there's, like, a hundred of them to collect in the game. I mean, there are loads. Um, I haven't got, like, looking at how many I've collected and how many are in chapters one and two, I've, I'm pretty sure I've missed lots of them. Seeing to go this way. Oh, hey, shotgun. Yes, please. Now, oh. is there going to be ammo in here? Batteries. Is that it? All right, well, we have the shotgun at least. Hopefully we'll find some more ammo for it. I don't suppose there's any around here. I mean, two, two shells isn't very much, but hopefully we can find a few more. Hopefully the police lady doesn't take them off me this time. Anything creepy gonna happen with the phone? No, but there are some batteries. Oh, hello. Oh, crap. There's one over there, too. go. I think we got out of that okay. We took a hit, but maybe we've recovered that health already, perhaps. What's happening with that phone? Anyone in the loo? No. Alright, well, let's move on. Glancing side to side, see if uh, the pages are standing out. There is sort of a side route here. This is the picnic area, maybe? With a page. Sweet. Grab that. 
so this is uh, another later one. I think we'll still proceed and maybe try and get these ones first before I, I read these later ones that we found. Oh, there's some uh, ammo or something here, but no. Another junker. Anything in there? Ooh, sounding a bit ominous. Let's go back to the main path, huh? Ooh, it suddenly, yeah, it suddenly got a bit spooky. The great old one. So it's Cthulhu. Battery. Another one over there. Okay. Oh, you bugger. that suddenly appear behind you and whack you in the back of the head. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of woods here to explore, but I'm not inclined to do it particularly. So if there's pages I'm going to miss because of that, so be it, I think. Ow! He throws his shoe! other guy, I think. Oh, for God's sake. I can't dodge, it's just, it's too... i got to do this one again now. The dodge is too... awkward with keyboard. trying to dodge, but it's just not working terribly well. <sighs> It'd be nice if there's a checkpoint after this fight, because the next one's... Oh. Actually, gonna run. Let's keep running. Let's try and just take them all head on. There was a third one, I think, wasn't there? Quite low on the old ammunition now. Could do with uh, could do with a refill. Also do with a checkpoint save. Thank you very much. Oh. You know what? I'm running. I see, there's a light source there. Oh, you little son of a bitch. Run faster, Alan. <laughs> oh, you absolute dick. Oh. Right, 
we're so low on shells now. Let's see, we haven't even got a full clip in the gun. I keep calling it a clip. I know it's not really a clip when it's a revolver. But... Um, we picked up a few bullets. Okay. Well, the scary music has stopped, so let's just let's keep going. Oh, page. How many do we think we missed? Actually, none. I turned just nice. Afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly. A roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Uh, yeah, well, that would be nice. <laughs> we can find it anywhere. <laughs> Bear alert? Oh my god. At least we hit a checkpoint. Not looking forward to running into a bear. Right, okay. Ooh, this looks like something. Uh, it's not really something. It, it's probably someone's been eaten by a bear. There's a boot. <laughs> like a plaid shirt. Ah, uh, great. Oh my god. Is there an asshole behind me? Ah! Okay. Oh, I'm running past you guys. Alan, run! Oh my god! Why won't you run? like me. Hey, well, running from these guys clearly isn't much of a choice, given Alan's unwillingness to preserve his own life. I saw one over there. Well, I'm going to run back a certain, oh, certain ways to try and tackle these guys in a row. Ah, I can't see. There's more of them. Oh, they're still hitting me. We haven't got any bullets. Shit. Oh my god, I'm, I'm out of all ammunition now. Oh, of course. That. Okay, we got a light. We got a light. Let's just get to it. Oh, Alan, you absolute dick! Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna run for that light though this time. We'll fight them from there. Too many of them. I can't see a thing! Alright, oh, it's another one of these guys. Alright. Have you got over that rock, or do I, am I supposed to take another way round? I guess another way round. They seem to have backed off for now, though. Alright, well, let's chance it. Oh, 
life-affirming thermos. Need more supplies. Where is everything? Where is this? Oh, Jesus, those axe throwers. Oh, there's so many of them. Alan! Get back to that light. Oh my jeez. Oh my lord. Okay, so I don't, we didn't outrun them. Maybe we do jump over this. Do that. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch, at any cost. Okay, well, that would be me probably, I suppose. Not the light. We will really need supplies. Flashlights, kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but. Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, oh great. I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then. I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake! You better keep up! What I got for you? What's happening? Am I getting shot? Oh god, no.
I wish he was doing a bit better actually killing them, though. Emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Oh, I thought Give it just was. Gun. Yeah, no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Pull them off, damn it. I can't believe Wake's lost both his guns again. Just a little longer. Scare him off. Just a little longer, I almost got it. Okay, it's open. Move sure. it or lose it. Let me through. Safe. Who is this asshole? <laughs> Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Die already, die! Stop, boy. Stop moving! That's what I've got for you! Almost there. That big guy. Are we done? Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. Everybody's a critic. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all.
Six rounds, great. Okay, well there is some here, I suppose. No! Come back here! I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! Do you hear me? Come back here! He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. All right, what have we got here? Alice's Fear of the Dark. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Mm. Okay, so we go across here, I suppose. I have to say, I find the enemies in the game so far quite annoying to encounter. It feels like they're probably designed to be annoying. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> not enjoying the... Not in, I'm not in, if I had to criticise one thing so far, it'd probably be that I'm not enjoying the combat very much. Allied to that, I wish Alan moved a bit quicker. Let's see there's already another bastard up there. All right. Oh! Okay, I can see that. I thought that was a page. That's a trap. Can I... Can I deactivate it at all? I guess not, but probably shouldn't tread in it, right? I'll look up here. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's that one way to go. Keep an eye out for bear traps. Such as the ones decorating this tree. At least, it, at least it's got a little sparkle on it. I guess... Yeah, see, there's another one. I guess fighting could be a bit annoying if I'm kind of running around not exactly looking at the ground around me and tread backwards onto a bear trap. So there's one here too. Now, I'm not going to venture too far into the woods. If I miss pages, I miss pages. Let's just... Uh... Okay. There's a lot of bear traps. And it'd be useful if um, they damaged enemy. What the hell? Just don't warn me about these traps. It hurt the hell. I'm stuck. Yeah. What was I saying? Something profound, probably. In any case, yeah, we'll try and avoid the traps. You know, I'm not going to go off the beaten track too much here. We miss pages, we miss pages, that's fine. But there is one here. Huh. Look at that. Oh, I thought he was about to jump off the edge then. You're quite in keeping for him. Okay, so, well that's another later one. So there's sort of four in between those and the later ones, so we'll try and uh, put in the blanks before. That's a already interested I can tell um, so can, do we think we can get over to that thing probably I guess I have to be down there though Oop. doing for rounds I've actually got full stack of ammo got a decent number of batteries I wish I had my shotgun I'm a bit annoyed I keep losing it as soon as I find it I don't think I even got a chance to fire it last time I mean I did in one of the um, runs where I, where I died didn't I um, make it through the woods. Oh no, that's the objective. Okay. We'll stick to the path. Ah, oh, yeah, buggers. Okay, we're going flare. What else have we got? What are you? I think that was my only flare. I think it was a good use of it, though. They was absolutely ambushed me, didn't they? So, yeah. It's time to get a bit wibbly wobbly as well, which suggests to me. That's wrong. Okay. What the hell? 
Got anyone else? Is there any reason to go on that log? I don't think so. I like the way the batteries don't just run down on their own. It would be because you have to have the torch out at all times. It'd be quite tedious if that was the case. Intensive in terms of resources. Oops. Why can't I pick up the batteries? Okay. Are the goodies around here? <gasps> Thermos. It was all worth it. in this one. And a shotgun for me to lose again. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Mm, so much to look forward to there, I'm sure. It's more like a rifle. Yeah, hunting rifle. I was going to say, it doesn't really look like a shotgun. Still doesn't have very many bullets. I think I'll stick with the trusty old revolver for now until we pick up a few more. Um, yeah, I'll assume it's pretty powerful though. Having a look in case they stuck some more ammo or something behind that building. Be quite mean, but could be something they might do. Looks like a bit of a leap into the unknown. All right, well, let's carry on. Just did a quick time check on the video, but we got a bit longer, I reckon. Or oh, flare, that's useful. Don't like that. So, our oh, focus. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. Question, should I check it? Yeah, okay. Um, hints at some supplies, so we'll go check those out. Uh, on the plane, perhaps. stuff. Okay, so it's so saying to go up in the plane, maybe? Does seem like it, doesn't it? Okay. around here, pages or anything like that. Huh. One flare, no two flares, okay. 
That literally, I mean, it's good. It's not amazing. Hmm. Let's um, let's push on. That's something. I think it's just a light. Okay, bollocks to that then. Hang on. Yeah, flip. Alan! Why aren't you... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm trying to get a flare out. He wouldn't do it. Oh, he throws axes. Asshole. I've got another one out. Didn't mean to do that. Ah, thank you for insert battery at just the right moment. Jenny going then. Oh. Right, thanks Alam. Who's the other one? Because there was another one. How much have we got for the hunting rifle? Didn't only eight. We're getting near that thing though, which is kind of cool. Ah, flares. I used one more than I kind of meant to there. Rest one in panic. Feels pretty good. Keep using that for, t for a moment. There was a th yeah, th I thought there was a thermos. We saw it from the other side, didn't we? So let's just go and grab that before we move on. Creepy. Well, I nearly botched that landing. Um, okay, so it's reached the top of the mill. Well, you know what? I think, bearing in mind that was just a checkpoint save, I think what I'll probably do is leave it here for now. 
So I'll just say thanks very much for watching this episode of Alan Wake, bumbling around in the woods. Um, we got through it. A few, uh, few deaths, but I think that's probably par for the course. Um, they seem to really wallop you from all angles sometimes, these, uh, these enemies, but it's okay. It's fine. We're getting through it. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, if you could hit that thumbs up button, that'd be great. If you could leave me a comment as well, let me know what you thought about this episode. That'd be amazing. As would uh, subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. So thanks very much. I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.